Hello, welcome back. Last time I did a puzzle that in my original LP was split across four different videos. Now, in front of me is one that I have never solved. I spent some time on it, um, but didn't really get anywhere. Tangled pipes. Another dead end, Shelby. A dead end with a starfish. I looked at this earlier, and first action I want to take is to remind myself what it is that I need to get out. So the no starfish solution, does that just involve... There is no no starfish solution. This is at the exit. You can't solve this puzzle without getting the starfish. Got it. Okay. Uh, so, anyway. This has to get out, right? Not only does that have to get out, with Guppy and a single snail, it has to be able to be brought over here? Oh no. Let's work in reverse. So let's say I had this on that ledge. Assuming that were possible, first of all. Flounder, we need your help. What is it? This room is filled with steel pipes. Oh, that's right. Ooh, good move, Flounder. <laughs> Flounder's too busy playing a game with Virgil on the outside. <laughs> uh, so hold on. Isn't there some problems here if... Okay, no, hang on. So Guppy pushes the block this far. How do I go farther without having the full weight of a steel pipe on her? Shelby first holds up the pipe, so sticks to that. Okay, so Shelby sticks to this wall, holding up the pipe. Guppy pushes the block through here. Through here. This part's safe-ish. I push the one block down, hold the other block up. Shelby comes over and gets stuck in this pit. There are going to be some final problems here. I would like to visualize them for a bit. Okay, so the, the point at which Guppy is, her tail is here. Shelby's still holding up the steel pipe. If I transfer to the ceiling, and crawl over here. Ah, oh, no, this pit is full. Shelby doesn't fall or anything. Can just transfer to this ceiling after Guppy's tail is one more to the right. Be in here. She holds this up. Um, at that point, the pipe falls. Go transfer walls. Get under there. She takes the starfish. They can just scuttle out. Okay, so it's fine once this is here. All right. How would that be transported here? Most ideally, with Guppy in... Still thinking? Yes, I am. Uh, Guppy in this part of... You could, like, read my mouse input and notice that I'm pointing at things. <laughs> anyway, with Guppy, like, with her head in there, and Shelby, like, up on here. Yeah, Shelby here. Block there, guppy here. Freely movable, a um, little bit of a tight squeeze here, but not too tight as long as this one doesn't go down. It's probably gonna go down though. Alternately, if this goes down, no, it's kinda gonna have to be that. Anyway, this looks very much like a key block to me. This is gonna be the platform upon which I transport my little one by one. Once that's in this position, so like here's the T-shape, here's a snail, here's the block. Hmm. Go down one. 
Shelby crawls over the block and gets in here. Go up one, stick to the block, drop the T, push to the right, then everything's in place. Okay, cool. So, save this block, save this block, keep everything else from being too in the way, and that's all I strictly need to solve this. Okay, so continuing to work backward, the next mystery is how could this block ever come out of here? So, the way it'll have to come out is by the thing that's holding it up going downward without the things that are on top of it going downward by too much. Heh, <laughs> that showed him. Good flounder. <laughs> Mr. Crab, do you think you could come and help us move these steel pipes? I ain't putting no goggles on my eye stuff, Fishy. Hmm. Does King Crab never come to VR? He is not into putting on a VR headset, apparently. Uh, Shelby's kind of beached straight here. That's reasonably easily fixed with this block, but still, it's a thing I'll have to deal with. If I did this, everything falls. Ooh, with a big bassy sound. That was pretty satisfying. Another dead end, Shelby. There's another dead end, Shelby. Oh man, that sound. Let's hear that again. Another dead end, Shelby. Bong. <laughs> it's so good, wow! There's <laughs> something very enjoyable about that. Okay. So I don't want... This is gonna come down. By at least one. Okay, so this would be anchored on you. So I want you to maintain your height. This will have to go down by one if this is going down by one. Therefore, this is going down one. This, uh, this is going down one. This must go down one, two, three. Enough of a slot to get Guppy through. That's assuming I could pull that thing out to the left and up and over. So maybe I'm actually bringing this block in to be a platform to set this on. It's probably involved in the stacking though. Maybe my first action should be to liberate this a little bit, get it at least farther to the right, maybe. Anyway, yeah, basic thing seems to be kick out the floor support from this, this, and this while maintaining floor support for this. So wouldn't it be nice... Another dead end, Shelby. ...to shove things over this way? Let's see what results from some of this. Even if Guppy dies a couple of times doing it. She doesn't really die, she's in VR. She's safe enough. Uh, I could use a snail to kick that out a little farther. I'd have to go too farther? Well, I can do that. Uh, I'd like this farther over to the right. So yeah, without thinking too hard about anything, let's just take some basic actions and see where they go, and then I'll start to understand what's valuable and what's not. Um, okay, so first of all, that's fine. You can go here. This uh, part doesn't work, though. Ah, I can push that left. It's not really where I want it, but let's pretend it is. There's still weight on you. No, there isn't. No, no, no. You're supported by this. And then if I snail one more, you'll be supported by this. You'd have to go one more. Which would mean getting this out of there, which would mean... Uh, it seems I have to go farther, because if I go down one, I don't quite have the the space to get Guppy in, so I need you two more down. That's fine, there's space for that. It's weird to me that so far this doesn't look so bad, but I'm sure it's gonna get much worse than it is. Oh, hey, you're held up by this now. Okay, that's a support I didn't foresee. Flounder, we need your help. So I could kick this out is in it? any direction. This room is filled with steel pipes. Except... Ooh, 
Good move, though. The only direction I can really do anything in is this one, because this you're in the way and there's nothing I can do about that. Unless you're still held up. That's interesting. What if I kick this out the other way and got it, like, all the way there somehow? Well, I don't know. Anyway, Shelby about to get trapped. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh, now what do you want to do with this block? Right! This was a part of this puzzle I definitely got fairly stuck on. What do you want to do with this block? Is there any possibility of, like, slotting it through there? I don't think there is. It seems improbable, at least. So does bringing it left and up and over. Which seems more likely? Flounder, we need your help. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> uh... Oh, look at this little space. Just keep trying. I am. So, this is stuck, obviously. So at the very least I need my snail out. Okay. Could I improve this by like one step at a time? I mean if I'm using my snail in this manner. Then, no, there's no improvement I can Another do here. Dead end, Shelby. Can I use my snail differently? I mean, not at this point. Okay, I could have maybe used this block to poke. With a snail stuck on the end of it, that would still result in snail trapped under a pipe. With a snail on the other end, still no. Okay, um, how did this look at the start? Close enough to the start, like this. So... Things are gonna fall by one, whatever I do. Still got some ideas. Now turn around, Shelby. If I press any direction except directly backward, you go forward. Uh, okay, this is a nice stash spot for that. Easily accessible from both sides. How friendly. What do I think I'm doing from this state? I don't want to kick this support out yet. Maybe later. Not now. Not while you are being held still by this precarious structure. I'd like to get this two to the right. You are definitely going to have a role. You probably too, I would imagine. Um, I can't undo a reset, right? I can undo a reload. Ooh. I could undo a reset by loading the initial state of the puzzle. That'd be handy. Um, okay, it's not like I've done a whole lot of work here or anything. Uh, I just want to compare the initial state to, like, how high this pipe was. I think, yeah, this hasn't gone down at all yet. So this is basically initial state with this move to the right, this move to the left, this move to the right. That's pretty much it. And snail rescued, this move to the left. Yeah, okay, I can picture the initial state just fine. So. What could be my next move? See, now I could totally pull this to the right from where I am now. Let's try that. No steel pipe goes on top of it, right? Another dead end, Shelby. Wrong because... Right, because nobody's supporting you. That... Hmm. Without involving some other objects, I don't have the means to support things without this ending up a place I think I don't want it to end up. Okay, well, let's involve some other objects. I think it's a little late. Ah, uh, no. K 
can this go in here? Sure. It involves a little bit of roundabout routing, but it's doable. All right, so right now you are going to act as a snail booster. Oops, snail has been boosted. So I had a little thought about um, uh, let's see here. Not this. Maybe this. What was my little thought? Uh, replacing this three tall stand with a combination of those two objects and that somehow being good for something for some reason. I'm not sure why yet, but just something tells me that that might be involved here. Okay, so to move this, it's pretty simple. Hmm, less than I thought. Not enough space. This can go one more to the right before things go wrong. Oops. If it goes right before it goes wrong, I can lift that, get under it, get the snail elsewhere, and yeah, that's easier manipulation. There we go. Okay, that's over. Now, if Shelby's just out of the way for a moment, what's it look like? if I swap kickstands. Why am I doing this? It's hard to tell. There was a reason at one point. Let me just trust my past self and assume that reason still exists. Can't shove that any farther and that's not far enough to get Shelby to go anywhere. Well, I can push my substitute kickstand farther that way. Nothing has fallen yet. Just the way I like it. Before that happens, there's some actions I'd like to take that'll involve some rather slow snail movement. There is no other kind of snail movement. <laughs> Except when they fall along with an object, but can they be said to be moving? More like being moved. For some reason, I'm feeling like I want this extremely out of the way, and the way that I'm imagining that happening is by pulling it left. Like, uh... This, I guess? Um... Uh, yeah, I can keep doing this even lift it up and have it as maybe an assist for ooh do I want this to become a prop that goes in there and affects how the structure is constructed that's interesting I'm gonna save this state in case I want to come back to it because interesting things are happening all right snail other side what if there's a crafty way I could like shove the snail through there. Ooh, I could have this... Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot I could do here. This feels much more full of possibilities than the feeling that I remember it giving me <laughs> years ago last time I tried it. Feels more like a possibility space than an impossibility space. Plenty of those can also be found in this game. I don't want you to go any farther right. You want to be exactly there. What I do want to do is move this. How would I do that? I think it's a little late. 
but it has to be at that time. It could be farther left, which is no better. So with you there, okay, you're in a bad spot, by the way. I could do some things about that. Why do I want to pull this out? Hold on, no, this has to go right. One more to the right. And yeah, I want to pull, push that out because this isn't far enough down. It needs to be farther down. Could I kick this pin out? No, not really. Ah, maybe. If a snail were... Mm, there isn't a space for that. If this were here... I could get under that far enough to not really do anything in particular. Mm. I don't know, I'm wondering about some things. What if all this stuff goes, like, extremely far to the right? I mean, this is no good, right? No, it's fine. I don't see a problem. This is down. That's as far down as it can ever go because of this piece of terrain. I've lost access to this. Um, not gonna worry about that yet. Got other stuff to deal with right now. Flounder, we need your help. He's not gonna help, though. He's playing a game. <laughs> what is that voice clip? One more. You must be removed completely? I can't do that from the other side, can I? Another dead end, Shelby. That worked. That was a fun move. Okay. Hey, I feel like some things happened. Okay, so look at this state. Save exactly that state, because this is where I can do that from. Alright, got quite a pile of stuff here. Um, I may have lost some access to this because I put it in the wrong spot. I mean, no, not really. I, yeah, kind of, sort of. Can't move it up into the right. And Oh, I don't want to move it to the right. You needed to have moved through this channel first. Okay, so I have some amount of stuckness, but also some amount of not stuckness. Did I want to transport you all the way in here? Uh, all, all the way in here. To get past that pinch... Guppy cannot. There's no way to be far enough left to push that right after it's here, so no. I'm probably going to lift you with... I wonder if I'm actually dropping this while supporting that. Giving you a much shorter travel route. Because this could hypothetically drop a lot all the way down. If I did that, you would also make a smooth surface there for pushing that thing through. That thing could already be pushed as far as here. There could be a snail on top of it, which holds up the pipe from there, which also holds up that pipe. That's an interesting prospect. This would need to be gone. A lot of this would have to be unpiled from there. You would need to probably be, I don't know, here or so would be a good spot, maybe? Oh, you can figure it out, dear. I'm starting to think I might be able to. So... Okay. What if this? Mm, what if that what? Mm, 
No. Okay, where could this even go? Could it be like mated with uh, something else? The, the problem is like this block is kind of mm, it's kind of too low. To push it across a smooth surface, I need like if I'm pushing it right. The most pre-placement I can do is to have it here. A snail could be on top of it. When this falls, Guppy could be this far to the right. Could she somehow be inside? Uh, yeah, I could probably somehow have a snail holding this whole thing up. Maybe. Eh, I'm not sure I could, but maybe I could arrange for that. Maybe. So Shelby could just move without Guppy's intervention, but then would need to get in there with her. On top of this, which was here. So you would need to be here on something. Can I make a four tall something here? I could bring over... Oh, that doesn't fit. Okay, so this cannot change sides. This one certainly can, and there's enough room to move it to the right. This one appears to be able to... yes. So with this, here, this, here, this could go on top of it, but that's where Guppy's tail is. I'd have to be one more to the right somehow. For that prop to hold you behind me while I push to the right. It looks a lot more convincing that I'm pushing this thing to the right than that I'm digging it all the way out of there and up over here to get it in there because just omnidirectional movement is pretty hard. The space is fairly tight. I think I'm unstacking this such that that moves to the right. Then from there, I like drop this, put it on top of that, get that up here, get it up here, and then I'm done. I wonder if this protrusion is something I want to support somewhere. Even if I did, it wouldn't support this pipe. Supporting you. This would go down by one, but that's okay. Probably. From where I'm standing, it looks like it is. I really like the smooth surface this makes if it falls into this space. With, with the, the junk cleared out of the bottom. It's just that I need both my hands free. <laughs> you're one of my hands, you're my other hands. <laughs> uh, with my two hands free. The arrangement I'm picturing here doesn't quite do it. It's short one. And I don't really want to involve this object. What if this here, this, here, 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 intersecting Guppy's tail. Right, I need that space open. So I need a support from here. Okay, so support from there could be... Oh! Flounder, can you give us a hand? Yeah, got him. You missed a word. Um, not right now. Shelby is indestructible, though. That might help. <laughs> uh... He turned down the sound so she can't tell as easily what he's doing. <laughs> no more sound effects going through. Uh, that's not great. This... Oh, that is... Look at this. Look at this. This shape. This shape. This shape works. This one. Here and here. This one. Uh, to Tromino. Here, 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 here. That holds it. Because of that little lip there. Sounds nice. 
Um, can Guppy get into a situation where she can set that up? Sure, maybe. Uh, plausibly. Then what? Then she's kind of locked in here. So that's where my snail kickstand would come in. While if that was already set up, it would support this and that sounds nice. Um, I feel like there are a lot of intermediate problems. One big one being, yeah, don't I have to do an operation out here to drop this? And if I've done the operation out here, well then I can just swim back in this way. That showed him. You turn the sound back on. Mr. Crab, do you think? Nope, Mr. Crab's not putting any VR goggles in his, his eye stocks. Yeah, so then I could just swim in from the right because that space would be open. Sounds cool. So I want to set that up from the above. I can do that. I can do that right now. Uh, no, I can't because this object's stuck. Okay, so um, I have an idea of what I'm doing. And it's shockingly good looking. This might actually solve things. So, uh, keep these objects freer. You don't matter other than just I need you not to get in my way too much. So right here in this state, I can take a pause and do some snailing. Let's see, that was a real good move. Mm, I can do some snailing and undo that snailing. This might be solvable from the state I'm in. I might also have needed to have moved this, but maybe it can just sit there. Go up through here once this is out of the way, which it will be eventually. You I'm suspicious of, but nothing I plan to do needs to involve you or the space you occupy, so maybe not. Maybe it's fine. Okay, that's as far over as you can go unless this moves, which it could. Uh, not anymore, but it could have. So then, right, Shelby goes back the other way. I note that this is a guppy-shaped space. Made perfectly for her. Here, Shelby, I can give you a little shortcut. Or not. The shortcut's barely any shorter than the normal way. So, here. Here. And this works the same way with that in a friendly spot to drop. Neat. Uh, yeah, you can get out of there. She can not quite get out of here, though. Okay, so that is a problem. I did need this to move right. And currently I cannot do that. If this were farther right by, say, two... Well, now, hold on. What if Shelby doesn't do the thing yet, and I... Well, no, that... Another dead end, Shelby. That's another dead end. Well, what if a snail were there? I have one in mind specifically. It's a snail named Shelby. Uh, no leverage. Well, hang on, why is that a problem? Well, because it is. Um, I guess I could have put you down there. Okay, it'd be a lot quicker to do this. How about that? You just elongate that for a bit. Actually, can I just... Mm, no, no, I still need the snail in the other spot. Ah, uh, what if you hold things up for a moment? I don't see why that would be a leak. Ah! <laughs> right, I went too far. Because I will ultimately be moving you back left anyway, so putting you there shouldn't be too bad, maybe? Maybe. I still have my boost spot. Oh, and at this moment, I can actually move this to the right if I want. 
well, at this moment I can. I couldn't a moment ago. Um, so if I would kick out that support like this, what exactly happens? Not what I want. Hold on. What went wrong here? Uh, this isn't far enough to the right. If I push it right from where I am, what exactly happens? Most of the good things. Perhaps entirely good things. Let's go right again. Okay, cool. I just gotta set up my little uh, kickstand there real quick before I do that. Um, objects cannot move through this channel. Oh, that's an issue. How would these get here? If I move anything beyond this, it's too close to the wall for Guppy to pull it out ever. And I can't get this out of the way in any way that I know how, right? Um... Yeah, that has to be done before any of these fall, and Shelby will have to be involved, so I can't have them, like, stuck to anything that would support those if such a thing existed. Hmm. These needed to be down here. Maybe my actual key is to keep this in place where it was and use it instead of stacking those objects up where they are. Like I have this thing's roll and these two things roll reversed. They can both be three tall, but you being three tall here is about the same as that. You, you being three tall here uses your horizontality and that's more valuable. It's kind of what it's looking like to me. The alternative where this supports things from, from here to here is no good because I don't get enough leverage on that to push it to the right without taking out my support. And then that little thing locks you so you can't move left even if you wanted to for some reason, which you kind of don't. Okay. Is there some solution for moving these through here? Like if I could snail... Mm, some kind of like snail hook thing that I could do? I'm trying to figure out if... Uh, like I have this. Ah, but I don't really. It has the same problem. That's in the way. So I have a sequencing issue here. This did not need to be a prop for these two if that had come to the right. So, bottom one to the right, those things propped on top, or maybe better yet, this one. Okay, so interesting state, I'll save it, I'm gonna undo a whole lot. Heh. Sorry, you might have been saying something unique. Too bad. I want to see how, why this was such a problem to move to the right and why I moved it to the left instead. It had to do with the fact that it was supporting this, of course. I understand that much. Ah, now these could, like... Hmm, no. Well, maybe. What if I dropped them down and brought them all the way down under that, then just pushed the support to the right using them? Why would I do that? That doesn't help me at all. Can I replace... Ooh. Can I replace? Hmm. 
I could get you. Bring you in here. Don't th think I could quite replace those with it, though. I'm not convinced. So right at this moment, the longest block can move left. Quite a bit, in fact. If a snail were involved, it could go this far. If a snail were not, it could go this far. I don't think I can swap this stand for that one and actually get these objects out at this point. Not with that where it is. So I needed this to go to the right of the the first falling pipe, right? If I wanted to do that, what would it look like? So I just pushed that off at the very beginning? Why did I do such a thing? I don't know. I, I actually did not know then, either. Uh, had no specific plans. So... Can I do all this? Without involving those two. Another dead. Another dead end, Shelby. Um, yeah, what's wrong with us? Got some junk here in my way. Well, let's go back to the beginning of the puzzle when it wasn't in my way. Another dead end, Shelby. Alright, so here's a state at the beginning that I can... Let's test this. I go here. I make some inputs. I load this. I undo. There we go. That's a way I can undo a reset. So fourth... Fourth load thing is my undoable reset. If I press R and the backspace, end, it doesn't undo. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so create smooth surface. I probably want to get this out right. Okay, so the very start involves some snail rescue. If I want the snail, I don't think I need it yet. First steps. And yes, Neil doesn't even need to be involved in rescuing that block. Guppy can do it on her own. Uh, ooh, don't push that too far yet. I pushed it too far yet. I want that that far over. Just so Guppy can still manipulate it in case that matters. Snail rescue is easy enough. I just don't want to deal with it until I have to. Uh... Well, okay. Here, let's do it now. Mm hmm. Okay, check this out. That's nice. Now what? Maybe I could do that, but it doesn't help me. Maybe Another yeah, dead I... end. <laughs> what am I trying to do? I don't really know. Something. Yeah, I'm sure it's something. I was sort of trying to get. She'll be to the bottom of that. I don't know, I'm doing silly things. They're unnecessary. What if I just prop this on Another that? Dead. Another dead end, Shelby. <laughs> uh, this works, right? It could be made too. Uh, okay, but now what? Now nothing's happening. What am I trying to do? It's hard to tell. I guess I can support this with that block, and I'm just kind of trying to liberate this in general just to get it out of here. Put it in a convenient spot where it won't be in the way. I wonder what spot that would be. Actually, if I don't even have to involve snail face in this. I can just push that right like that. Snail face will have to be involved with the other part of this, though. That's fine. Anyway, yeah, so lots of room down there. I just wanted a spacious cavity at the bottom. Uh, 
Uh, sure, let's keep doing some of that. I can make my cavity more spacious. There. That'll do for now. Next. I think I want to... Yes, I know. I think I want to transport these here now-ish. Maybe not like quite right now now, but soon. If I do this, everything falls. That's unacceptable. This has to go before that happens. That remains retrievable if it's no farther left than that. Okay. That's fine, that works with my other plans. Um, I haven't moved that object at all, didn't I want to? Well, I can do it now. Mmm, I can do it now, he says. Uh, I'll wait until I have a specific reason. So, having done that action... I have a reason now. Okay, well, let's move them alongside each other like this. Got a nice, spacious cavity down there, the way I like it. Yeah, look at all that space, that's beautiful. Um, that's too much space, actually. Don't I want... Well, no, hang on. Check this out. This old move. Flounder, we need your help. That seems what much healthier. It? This room is filled with steel pipes. Ooh, this looks good move, pretty good. Guppy's a little bit trapped. Can I solve that from where I am? Uh, maybe? Yes. Maybe. Yes. Just get out of the way. There we go. Okay, and everybody has access to everything they need. Okay, um, so my next step would be packing these into that space, then moving that to the right, which is easy, and then I'm done? Well, hang on, so we still got that to deal with yet. Okay, so let's see about this idea of packing that over there. Uh, Maybe I want to do this. Maybe I don't want to do that. Hmm. It's hard to tell. Is this retrievable? Yes. That doesn't go. Uh, there was a solution for that. I think I've locked myself out of it, though. Yeah, I need to have managed these objects a little earlier. So, like, stack them up, like, here very early on? Like, first thing? Before I've dropped that. Do I still have the option to move those objects over? Not? Yeah, I think I do. I can definitely repeat what I did down there just fine later. Uh, so I'll do some of this. Some more of that. Just one more is fine. Um, I don't really like the way you are, so let's change it. I don't like the way you are either, so I'm going to change that too. Ooh. Do you have a problem fitting through there? No, not if Guppy's in the right place for it. Okay, that should be fine, I think. That should be fine, I think. I look forward to finding out that it's not. Alright, so your job is quite simple. You just go there. You're done. Uh, whoops, wrong character. 
Shelby has a long run to get out of here, but that's okay. Um, how am I messing with you? I know how I'm messing with you, it's fine. Alright, long snail run. I wonder which way would have been faster. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's about equal distance. Because your destination is, uh, here-ish? I think I did go the fast way. That showed him. Good move, Flounder. Mr. Crab! Mr. Crab isn't putting anything in his eye stocks. This is surprisingly enjoyable, straightforward, and non-nightmarish. All three of those being highly surprising qualities. Um, this should probably just sit kind of up here. Yeah, Guppy with no snail assistance can get it in if it's just kind of up in this area. You might need to move, but that's fine. I'll have some room once I've done these things. And conveniently, that's a Shelby Bridge. I think I'm almost done. This is a weird sensation for this puzzle to go so well. While I'm in there, I should probably do some of this, because that's going to have to happen. Um, not sure it has to happen now. It probably should. Let's do some of this. Maybe this is early. It's hard to tell. Maybe it's not. Yeah, this is just like nine day contrast to my first experience with this puzzle. Now, am I going to have a problem here? I might. Uh, no, not at all. No problems whatsoever. Everything's completely straightforward. Okay, cool. You are where you need to be. Do I need to get to that other side? Yes. Okay, so you were probably in a bad spot. Could I leave this exactly where it is temporarily and navigate that to a good spot? I think I might be able to. Hmm, that's a little less than ideal. I might be able to fix it though. Hmm. Hmm. Or maybe not so easily. How acceptable is this? I don't like it very much. But I th think I can still deal with it post putting uh, the tetromino, the other tetromino, uh, up here. Heh, <laughs> that showed him. Mr. Crab. Good one. Who said that? I guess it's, I mean, I, I guess I'm taking that as a, a game voice. Because we don't have any characters whose voices sound like that, as far as I know. Yeah, so you're primed to go here. Just, oh, you will need a little bit of assistance to do so. But just snail there, then it's primed to go there. Okay, so I will involve a snail with that. Um, for you... Oh, that's no good. Easily fixed. However, do I want to fix it? Do I even want to mess with this stuff here now? Maybe I can just leave that there and uh, deal with it once this pipe is dropped. That seems very plausible, actually. Um, therefore... The situation I next want to deal with is this one down here, right? I'm gonna push my wide floor support as far right as it can go without falling. which is actually one to the left of where it was. Um, I have confidence Shelby will be able to access this at the time I need to access it. So not gonna worry about that yet. Let's see, so while you crawl, let me think. If I put this here and push that to the right, everything seems pretty good to me. 
I do not currently foresee any issues. Flounder, can you give us a hand? Yeah, got him. Um, not right now. Shelby is indestructible, though. I'm not. All right, so there we go. Uh, stick to this instead. Push that down. Push that over. Stick to this instead. Guppy's out. I'm, yeah, I just put my snail up there, put my prop in place, put my snail back, pull this over, and I'm all but done. Hold on. Um, no, it's fine. This is actually in almost the perfect spot. Let's get it in a slightly more perfect spot. I will be getting my cube mounted up on it, and then... Actually, I'm not sure where I want that yet. I'll leave it right where it is. It's manipulatable from where it is. Oh. Okay, that's still solvable. Just a little bit of extra complication. There we go. Flounder? We don't need Flounder's help. We got it covered. All right. And a move we've all been waiting for. Gotta wait a little longer for a snail. Crawl around this T-shape that I left in its path. This one. Nice, okay. That was actually pretty unceremonious. Um, I can pull you a lot farther to the right, and I'm gonna have to if I want that cube up on top of this T-shape. I might have actually wanted that down here, surprisingly. I can still get it down there. Snail's gonna need to assist with cube movement. Um, let's do that now-ish. Yeah, this looks real good. We're not doing this style of movement, right? Oh, I could. Might as well. Flounder, Sneaky trick. can you give us a hand? Shh. It's fine. We don't need him. Ha! We got the piece we needed, Flounder. Oh, yeah. We don't need your help. There we go. Mm hmm Good. <laughs> uh, I probably want to leave it right there. That seems advisable. He just wants to play games. It's fine. Um, I'm probably going to want to push this one to the left. Because that cube's got to come down onto it. Will I be able to get this prop out without dying in this circumstance, though? Guppy can manually push it to the right if she needs to. Uh, I will die if I make this move, right? No. And actually, not this one either. What a friendly shape. Uh, okay, I have what looks kind of like an issue. What I actually wanted to do, and I think I still can, was to pull that cube out on the long object, but I'll just park this table here, move the long object back in for a moment. Ha, 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 ha. Oh jeez! We, we don't need your help. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> she found that very funny. <laughs> All right, there we go. Tangled pipes of salt, I think. Um, nearly. Uh, okay, so we got a final complication here. If I go in this way, does it solve it? Hmm. 
think I can arrange to have that happen. Uh, how would that be exactly? Uh, what am I doing at this point? I guess, okay, so I'm just undoing my work once more, but maybe that's fine. If I... Do this a little more. Okay, yeah, Shelby, get on the thing. Uh, I can't quite get to the other side of that. I can't disarm this, uh, and I don't want to. Alright, how about... A solution that looks like this. There are definitely simpler ways to do what I'm doing, um, but the way I'm doing it is also fine. Uh, it's not, though. Instead, I wanted... This. There we go. There we go. Perfection. Done! Oop. Uh, here. Look at that. Beautiful object. I'm going to save, just in case there's some last-minute complication I'm not accounting for. Uh, I wanted this one to the right, and where can I park to do that? Here's not a particularly good spot, but I can make it work. There we go. Now, right snail transfers to the other side, sticks to this, and this plays out as I visualized an hour ago. Uh, you go there, stick to this. This goes here, this goes here, Guppy goes this far and holds that up. Shelby joins, got that star, oh, whoa, 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 okay. Right, transfer to the other side. Got it! Yeah! Flounder, were you and Virgil playing video games while Shelby and I were working? I'm sorry, Guppy. <laughs> oh, just give us a break, Guppy. We just wanted to unwind a bit. We've been solving logic puzzles for days. Weeks, even. Months, probably. Yeah, it's been months at this point. Okay, well that went, like, way better than it had an excuse for going. And I'm so glad it did, because that was an like, a hundred percent more enjoyable experience than I expected. That was so good! Okay! And yeah, that was the puzzle, the last one that I ever attempted in my first LP. So we are now very much beyond that territory. Already were, but like, even more so now. Got a new picture! Let's unwind with, <laughs> instead of logic puzzles, let's do a jigsaw puzzle. It's the turtle we haven't met yet. As soon as I start the next chapter over on the right side of the map, I think we'll meet her. Uh, that looks like part of your beak. That looks like part of your beak. Hmm, different parts. A very long one of those. There we go. Uh, okay, yeah, so jigsaw puzzle sequencing. Didn't manage to delay meeting this, well, I mean, we saw her in one night, actually, ages ago, so yeah. Did not at all manage to delay the appearance of the turtle long enough to get to her in the story. Uh, is that part of a flipper? Maybe like this part? Uh, okay, things are a little bit indistinct already. Kind of hard to tell what anything, okay, those merged. Okay, those merged. Those merged. Okay, so they, they did look like they went together, and I was right. They did. Do these go together now? Here, 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 in the way. Not in any way I currently have access to. I picked up a connection up here, though, so that's nice. Oh, wait, no, they did. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's turtle anatomy. That's turtle anatomy. Okay. This is shell, I think. Turtle flesh. Turtle shell. Not that part of the turtle shell. Uh, what part though? I don't know. Turtle flesh. Turtle shell and flesh. 
turtle flesh, not that part. Uh, not sure what that is yet. Turtle shell. That's that part of your shell. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, okay. Alright, I see how this is laid out. Turtle face. There's still some beak here somewhere. Is that beak? No, that's something else. What is that? I have no idea. Uh, that's shell, and that's... Oh, uh, this part of the... that. Where do you go? Here? Yes. 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 Maybe. Cool. Uh, are you part of an eyeball? Not exactly. What are you part of? Foot? Not that foot. Or at least not that part of it. Where's the rest of your face? Oh, that was part of it. Is this it? Yeah, okay. It was just those two pieces. The funny looking ones. <laughs> How rude of me. Alright, so you're in front of a something, so there will be no more turtle anatomy down in this part. This doesn't have the text! Oh yeah, it does. It's just very hard to see. This doesn't have me putting together the text at the very beginning, because I didn't detect it until after I did turtle things first. It's real hard to see here. Uh, this is the T and the, I think. So it'd be there I need... Okay, there's you. That's the H and the? Yes, it is. That's the A's too and Phil A's too. <laughs> uh, nice. And one more piece. There it is. Now, bottom left, bottom right, or not bottom? Not bottom, unless you're not bottom. My working guess will be top left. Okay, so here's some foreground low resolution textures. Uh, okay, that connected. Just gonna kinda shuffle them around each other and see if anything connects. It did. Okay. Uh, anyway. This color. Alright, everything else is pretty indistinct. We got some bright lights up here, and that's a little bit distinctive at least. Um, okay, those connect to each other. This is a different bright light or something? Oh, hey, shell. Shell. Still got some turtle pieces left. Is this a turtle piece? I think it's something else. That's turtle piece. That, 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 that's turtle piece. There we go. This looks turtle flesh colored. Maybe here. No. I already tried that. You can't really tell what anything else is here. Um, here's more blurry rock texture. Not connected to this. Uh, did I actually swap those pieces? It's, they're so small and indistinct it's hard to tell sometimes. Those connected. Hmm. Okay, not that. Uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of rock here. I guess I'm assembling rock in this location. Those connected. Okay, those looked very close to each other, and they were. Uh, here's part of this, I can tell. Alright, so this is not the extreme left edge. I can be sure of that, at least. Those colors look very similar. I'm wondering if they might connect right over here like this, with something that also matches that color. Oh, hey, this is... Uh, no, wait, I already messed with that. Not sure what that's about. The top of your head exists somewhere. That's part of the top of your head. Okay. Is this also? It is. There we go. All right. I think that's the entire turtle, except a little bit of shell here that's going to be almost impossible to see. It wasn't that piece. 
No, I mean, there's more pieces there. That was one. That was one. Is this? Not for that. Alright, anything that looks even vaguely organic here. I mean, what's that? Could be a rock. This is quite inorganic. It's like books or something. Right, the zone that I have open that I haven't touched yet is called the Archives. This isn't part of you? Oh, it is. Okay, you are not on the bottom. Does this tell me anything about the text? Oh, I think the text is on the bottom. Ah, shoot, am I going to have to break it apart at this point? Yeah. Because that's totally the texture that's at the bottom. She's at the top. Yeah, all right. Well, I'd rather break the text than the turtle. So let's break that text. And yeah, all the pieces will stay close to together. None of them changed locations too dramatically, so I can just... Get them back together with minimal effort. That's fine. T. Uh, that's not a two, that's an H. T. Fill. A's. There we go. Uh, that's not there. Is it perhaps here? It's not. That's concerning. Maybe you're up one more. That seems likely. There we go. Got a connection. Okay, that's not quite the full width. It almost is, though. If I could find something that goes down here or left of this, I'm suspecting left of that is the actual answer. It's kind of impossible to tell, though. Okay, that clearly is part of the same sort of thing. So yeah, like, these jigsaw puzzles get some actual challenge in that I can get myself into a situation where I can't insert any more pieces without breaking existing ones apart. Uh, that's part of the part of the thing. I'm gonna build these books. Um, they might go like hereish. Yeah, there we go. That's a good connection. Okay, more books in the archives. Nice, nice. This is looking pretty good. Those are clearly books. What else is book colored? Are you? Not quite. Wrong color. Uh, not seeing anything that's the right color for that. Doesn't mean it's not there. I'm just not seeing it. Is it this? No, it's too dark. That's all too dark. Something that's dark and kind of like burgundy. I'm sure it's here, I'm just not seeing it. I've tried everything that looks likely. Okay, so, um, lightish, metalish. Well, those connected. Kind of foiling my plan to move them out of the way. Uh,. Don't know what I'm doing anymore. Is this down at the bottom, maybe? It's the right color. So I'm kind of doing a color sort now. There's something resembling one. Could I find, like, the piece that would go here, based on that texture? I did. Neat. Um, this could still move left. If it did, let's perform a search on pieces that could be there. I got one there, that's nice. That could really go either way. Those connected, okay, cool. Um, that connected, okay, cool. No, I think it's to the right. I'm just gonna break those. 
Uh, I guess I could perform search on pieces that go there. At some point, it's going to stop mattering. Um, where could this go? If it doesn't connect here, and it doesn't connect here... Oh, it does connect there. Okay. That's helpful, sort of. I still don't know whether I need to go left or not. All right, you're very wide. You connected there. Nice. It's just refusing to give me the one piece of information I really want. Are you... To the right of that? If you're not, you're going to have to be over here. Okay, okay, there we go. Information gained. It is, uh, it is to the right, not to the left. Neat. Metalish things. There we go, that's nice. There we go, that's nice. Is this metal or is it like an ice cube? It could be neither of those things. I cannot tell. This is actually the first new starfish I've gotten in a little while. There was a lull. A starfishless lull. This is a nice, pleasant, relaxing activity. A very good way to unwind from a puzzle. Uh, which piece could go there? None of these seem likely. Uh, this one does. There we go. Uh, you go here or... Okay, it was there. Or here. Which piece could go there? This one? Oh, that one already did. Nice. Okay. Uh, rocks and things. That was those rocks and things. Additional rocks and things. I guess you must be here. That's the only place you could go. You must be here, yes. Okay, that was that mystery piece. It looked very, like, rock or sky colored more than book colored. Oop. There we go. All right, cool. And uh, I have looked at one starfish I haven't gotten, and we're going to be getting it next time, or at least attempting to. We'll see how things go in the central processing unit.